and I am vlogging today and right now all of us are going for the Mangalore food fiesta that's taking place from 24th and uh, it's there till uh, 28th that is uh, tomorrow we were a bit hesitant to go it was like if we should go or no but finally we decided that we will go today I will uh, give you all uh, a look of how it is and uh, let me tell you the crowd that you don't see anywhere has gathered here for the food fest it's from uh, the ladle circle to up to Managuda till there and the crowd the video that I've seen is like mind blowing but they have done very good uh, arrangements for parking and all of that also such a initiative is uh, good for you know various brands to showcase they are uh, dishes to people and uh, that's how uh, people will get to know okay there is something someone that's good in this dish or any type of kind of food and uh, i think there are various stalls of north indian from bengali then gujarati then uh, all this karnataka indian and all of those dishes so it's like you get to taste all the varieties at one particular place so maybe that's the hype of it so yeah let's go now so we began exploring the food fest from uh, Lady Hill. We had two choices to either go towards Managuda or towards Zalalbag. So what we chose was going towards Zalalbag and then coming back from Lady Hill. There were coupon counters kept here and there for your need. There was also this 360 degree camera and uh, first stall that was uh, very a lot crowded as compared to the others was this stall of uh, Parota Balu where uh, the parotas were crushed and a curry was added and mixed with the chicken or egg or they had you know uh, different varieties so that's the reason I just could capture only the glimpse of it and uh, not really try it and there were also stalls that donated uh, money from the profits towards the charity like one stall was Mangar Marijan the first item that we tried was obviously it had to be french fries from this stall that gave uh, different varieties of uh, french fries for only rupees 99 so the french fries were tossed with the peri peri masala and uh, cheese was added because we had uh, chosen peri peri cheesy fries it was good for the price that we paid the quantity was good the french fries were uh, crispy and uh, enough amount of peri peri was added to it for momos, we visited the stall called My Momos where they served 6 pieces for rupees 120. We had chosen the plain chicken momos. The momos were quite flavorful, like the maida sheet was very thin, and the filling was more of chicken with less of onions, which was great. And uh, one thing that I liked about it was uh, the momos chutney. It was served with chutney and along with the mayo. Next, that caught our eyes was this donne biryani that was for rupees 120. The quantity was fine, it had the short grain of rice. The rice was flavorful. The chicken piece, I felt it was small. There was one chicken piece, and I am not sure if they served raita or no, but I didn't get raita, so that could have been better in this. Overall, the taste of the rice was good and then uh, there was this uh, special sindhi chart stall so that's the reason i went to try it out and uh, i tried the aloo tiki chart that was for rupees 80 you can see the preparation aloo tiki is then some curd was added along with some uh, chutney kind of thing two different uh, chutneys were uh, added and uh, there were onions then uh, topped with save then few peanuts and uh, then tomato one thing that disappointed me was the quantity over here not only me my parents were super disappointed because when we were paying 80 rupees so they had to make it a mark for the quantity so they didn't live up to that mark even the taste was fine it was like any other normal chart the tickets like two tickets were served i think their tiki sizes were also small and then there was this ice cream uh, for rupees uh, 60 where uh, it is put a cream is put on this uh, roller that is frozen roller and uh, 
then the ice cream is uh, shaved from it you get uh, different uh, flavors of uh, ice cream and uh, there is uh, urda bonda ice cream that we had uh, tried last year so we didn't go to try it even this year the next thing from the gujarati stall was i wanted to try dabeli but uh, it was empty so we then chose the kachori chaat that was for rupees 50 here the quantity was uh, quite uh, fine uh, kachoris were uh, good the spices inside the kachori was uh, good they had like uh, chili and some other spices coriander and all of that drink club had their stall i personally loved pasta from drink club back when i was in college and uh, this stall had uh, different varieties of ice creams like of wild mango and all this exotic uh, fruits uh, there was also play area for kids and for adults like the dragon ride then there was uh, all the small small rides for kids jumping jack and uh, here we ended uh, the stalls that were towards the lal bag side and moved towards managuda side here there were stalls on uh, both the sides till the main road so y- the crowd was a lot over here and um, hang you at their softy ice cream and uh, this was uh, patrodi's kitchen where they had different patrodi's irol sandies uh, the name sounded a lot exciting so we went to try it they had flavors like tropical mango then uh, chocolate and all of that we tried the tropical where there was ice cream and then irol was added that is ice apple then tutti frutti and uh, along with some choco chips that was for rupees 120 one thing that i couldn't figure it uh, figure out from this was the flavor of the ice cream if it was actually ice apple or uh, just vanilla uh, then even i forgot to ask them about the flavors then all of us ate it then there was entertainment as well The only thing that I wanted to try personally was chole kulche because the last year when I tried it was really yum. So from this Delhi seven they had uh, jeera rice, soya chops, malai chops, uh, and also jalebi with uh, rabdi. So we had our chole kulche here. Uh, they had given uh, two kulchas. I don't know how the authentic kulchas uh, taste like because I've never eaten like the one from the North Indians and uh, the quantity of the chole. chole was uh, really great uh, it had more of cloves and uh, cinnamon flavor to it it was also served uh, along with uh, the mint chutney and a uh, few onions it was a uh, piping hot so my dad tasted the chole kulchas first and he really liked it and the rest of us gathered and digged into the plate and finished it off the chole kulchas was for rupees uh, 150 which was uh, great for the quantity and uh, moving ahead we saw this uh, mumbai masala sodas uh, that had very different you know flavors uh, of uh, sodas served and this egg wonder stall also had uh, uh, the egg corn dog for which they were very well known that you can see her and mangalore's favorite sweet shop shreya sweets and also catering kamit catering had their stalls the next item that we tried was the ice cream cake from bonbons bonbons are very well known for their cakes and uh, pastries and this ice cream cake was priced for rupees 100 only and it was just amazing like there was layer of cake then ice cream then chocolate syrup and uh, topped off with the uh, nuts and uh, this is uh, jinkies they had uh, juice i um, served in a bottle for rupees 20 we took the kulki flavor then my brother had uh, lychee and the other one i guess i'm not really sure i guess grapes and uh, this stall had the chocolate fountain donuts brownies served punjabi lassi so obviously we had to try the punjabi lassi with the different flavors we took the mango and the banana the banana felt like okay uh, bananas were actually added but the mango lassi felt a bit artificial that was for rupees uh, 60 and then to end uh, our uh, food fest we ate uh, dosas along with some pork so here we tried uh, the green chili pork along with uh, dosas that was for 240 and uh, there was also kurgi pork with the uh, dosas for rupees 200 there was pork bafat and uh, pork roast as well So finally we are uh, done roaming it is 11:30 now we left at 9 it's so almost two and a half hours of 100%. roaming so out of yeah the food fest was good like we, I, as i mentioned earlier like there were varieties of catering stalls home products then some 
new stalls that are like various items that you know we don't find on a regular basis uh so it was good to explore but crowd was also one more thing you the moment you entered it was just like crowded you couldn't eat peacefully and all of that and coming to the pricing what i felt was it was there were some like stalls that were worth paying but there were like few of the stalls that had uh, priced extremely high like for charts it was like if it was a price at 60 it was just so much so much like you know on a regular basis if you pay 40 rupees you get so much of quantity it was like so that is one negative point because in case they increase the price and obviously they'll have to uh, keep the quantity or maintain the quantity as well and uh, the cleanliness and everything was great even the system how they had managed with the coupons and uh, cash and all of that was uh, great and uh, one more thing i felt was that my i mean my point of view is that only you know the middle class and above that people will be able to afford all of this i don't think anyone it should be an opportunity to, for even uh, poor people to just come and you know explore because if it was kept at a price that everyone could explore then well even uh, these people could have uh, enjoyed here but that's what i felt that uh, it was affordable only for the middle and the uh, upper class people yeah that's it had to say so that's my point of view i don't know how you people will take it if some will have uh, you know just don't make it, make it a controversial topic i just uh, shared my point of view and uh, the crowd of people from all over places because it's like a great event and uh, you can just come and spend some time here and pass your time oh yes i'll be ending this uh, video here so if you guys have uh, enjoyed uh, this journey through me then please do like it and share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet bye bye good night